Bill Spector was a very avid gun collector, and if you'd ever been to his house, you'd know that. And I always go back to this story. There's a famous recording studio that's now burned down and closed called Gold Star. Gold Star was not a big studio, but it could hold 16 or 17 musicians if you didn't breathe. And they would put one mic in the center and five rhythm guitar players would circle around it. That's it. Now, the guy who played lead guitar would sit at amp here, the next one playing the next guitar would say here, and the next one there. So now you've got eight guitar players in one room, all trying to noodle and outdo each other. So we're sitting there and we're playing, and Phil was trying, and I, I'm pretty sure it was Be My Baby. Da, 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 da. I think it was Be My Baby, and maybe I'm, I'm not, I wouldn't swear to that. But nobody was paying attention to Phil. Now, uh, Jim Agliori, great bar baritone player, Nino Temple, saxophone player, rape, two basses, two keyboards, percussion, drums, five brass and five horns in one room. And these are guys that, as studio players, everybody knows everybody. So they're all talking and everybody's carrying on and nobody's paying attention to Phil and he's pushing the button and nothing is going on. By the way, before I tell you that, he walked in that night with a full set of tails. Top hat, tails, everything. Nobody's paying any attention to him. Phil goes out to the limousine, takes his jacket off, straps on 245 automatic double shoulder holster, walks back into the studio, walked in and went boom, 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 and emptied 12 rounds into the studio, put it back in the shoulder. Everybody's sitting going. Walked out, walked back out to his limousine, took the 45s off, grabbed his accordion, walked back into the studio, opened the door, and walked all around the boys playing Lady in Spain. That was pretty much some of the Phil Spector stories. Some of them can't even be told. But uh, I, I, re I would like to say, with all due respect to Phil Spector, there was like a propane tank that was buried under the basement in Gold Star in the driveway. That was Phil Spector's wall of sound. The echo chamber is what gave him the dynamic. We went back in 89 to Evergreen Studio, which was owned by Barbara Streisand, and tried to duplicate it. Jack Nietzsche walked in with blank pieces of paper, pencils for everybody on the studio, sat down at the piano and played them. Just before he died of overdub. Played it, walked out back in the booth, and sat down. And we wrote, and Phil said, Okay, Cole, give me something. Give me something brilliant. I said, Run the song down. So we, we, we got here. I said, Nino, why don't we try this? He tried to get as many as the wrecking crew they could get back, but Tommy Tedesco had died, and Carol Kay was there. About 80% of the record crew was there. And we spent about five hours until we finally had a physically working good arrangement of the song. And we recorded it maybe six, eight, ten takes.